Why hello there old sport, old baby needs your help, I come have some bodies to hide. <laughs> oh god damn, that fax has been giving me the eye. If you catch my drift, do I throw that nasty boy in the Grand Canyon or give him the night of his life? This old machine has this Jimmy Russell and I'm ready to go. Why do I get the strange feeling that Dave has been up to no good? Ah! Hey, hey everyone, Razmowski here, and welcome back to Day Shift at Freddy's 3, and oh baby, Dave has caught some fantastic missions for us to be getting on with. But it's gonna be dangerous, so make sure you're checking your back. <laughs> Guys, if you're hyped for this video, then please hit that like button, it really, really is appreciated. Let's shoot for 2,000 beautiful likes. And here's a super special spicy deal for you. If this video has 3,000 beautiful likes tonight, then tomorrow I'll give you the next part. Because I've left this episode off on a cliffhanger. Oopsie! So let's just dive straight in, baby! Woo! Purple spicy fan art! Wow! Look at that art! This piece of art is such a masterpiece that I hear Mike Tyson actually wants a commission to be on his face. Beautiful! Oh, tape time, baby! Oh, hell yeah! What have we got now up next? Why, hello there! Welcome back to the start your own Freddy Fast and this Pizza Kit okay. 1993 edition. You launch your own mediocre pizza joint and you have somehow got an entire month without turning it down or flooding the place with our cheese. Okay. Or beef. Now, it's time to expand, baby. Hell yeah! Business is hard. Taxes are lame. Don't be a f square, man. Go order Freddy's issue own guy from Afton Robotics. What better yet? The black market. Own guys come in all shapes and sizes. They all have phones for heads though, before you ask. Okay. Every location has one. Even that one doggo location. <laughs> all phone guys are made from 100% recycled spring locked Freddy's employee. So don't worry about animal cruelty. What? Rest assured. Most of these men were probably dead before they got turned into living phone people. Most. Everyone has their answering machine wiped repeatedly, so they won't be able to remember anything about their past lives. Mostly. Also, if you decide to loot away and murder any children, turn off the security cameras first, or at the very least, remember to crudely paste a picture of your janitor over yourself in the CCTV footage. So he gets mad for the crime instead of you. That's all for this tip. Remember to smile. You own this <laughs> plane. <laughs> Dave, that was so motivational. It's got me amped up. Oh, okay. I've got a, I've got a black market phone guy. Okay, hello. Oh yeah. Hi, phone guy. Hello, Rasmowski! I'm a phone guy! Model 1401! But you can call me Scott! Thanks for buying me, by the way! Oh, you're welcome there, phone guy. That warehouse was getting rather dusty! No problem, for 25 cents you were a bargain. I didn't buy you, I stole you! Oh! So, that explains the sack that was thrown over my head! Say, did the warehouse guards try to stop you? It felt like my body was getting smacked around a bit. Uh, yep, I had to fight my way out. Nope, I just carried you around like cheap luggage! <laughs> oh, I see. That's fine. I'm fine. Uh, so basically, I'll do your taxes for you and stuff. Uh, since most delivery companies allow you to order stuff over the phone nowadays, I can use my head to order more stock for us. Y use your head? What kind of stock can you order there, Mr. Phone Boy? Mmm, anything we need, from cough medicine to sawdust. What, why would we need either of those two things? So, uh, I had to look over our paperwork. Did you... Did you attempt to burn all of our company forms? Um, it was the will of Bread Bear. He must consume. Hey, the old meal. <laughs> What's with the weirdly huge Freddy's employee destroying company documents? <laughs> I swear, every location I've worked at, I'll try. 
not to burn any more documents. What, what actually happened in your last location? Just out of curiosity. I know it may have killed the cat, but I'm hungry for knowledge. Mm, some crazy worker drove a forklift through the wall during a birthday party. I tried to send a letter to Frasbear HQ, but before I could, he poured a mug of gravy all over the report. This game. Ah, interesting. Okay, since you made the remaining paperwork scarce, I'll have to run the legal side of our company. You do know that this is the only Freddy's location open, right? We're the only ones left. It's our responsibility to run the entirety of Fazbender Entertainment, and that includes the legal side of the company. That sounds boring. I don't, I don't want to do that. Well, well, luckily I'm here. I'll handle the lawsuits and disgruntled parents. Like always. Um, first order of business. This place is... Tiny. How about we expand the place? I have a water cache shoved up my phone's receiver for some reason. Uh, we, we could use that to expand the restaurant. That's convenient. Um, a, 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 water, a water cache shoved into your receiver? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't really have a response for that. Suddenly, uh, I know what you were doing in a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that those men were using you for drug trafficking. Oh, that explains the gunshots. All right, um, so I have just enough money to buy the grow your own hallway in minutes. Just add water kit. Let's give this place a hallway, a bathroom, and an office. That uh, can't possibly be a real kit. That, that, that sounds good. That sounds good there, buddy. Well, you're the boss. Where do you want the hallway to go? Oh, am I legit getting to make it? South Bear, let's go south, baby. Let's go, downwards. All right. It should take a second to grow the hallway. Holy crap, it actually grew the hallway. Well, there we go. Hallway completed. Did... Did we just grow an entire hallway just now? Yeah. It's right down there. I see that you've already salvaged an older robot. By the way, <laughs> is using a 40-year-old Springlock suit really wise? Uh, who cares, right? Uh, any excuse to throw Golden Headward out? Don't throw Golden Headward out! I already have! Oh, I forgot to mention. You'll get a bonus customer satisfaction points if one of our robots matches our restaurant's mascot. Oh, right, Tony Foxy. So, sticking a Spring Freddy head above our sign might be a good idea. All right, that's our most pressing business out of the way. Then you're ready to open up shop. Walk outside and open this place up. Feel free to talk to me in any of our rooms before opening up, and we can customize your restaurant to your liking. Fans permitting. Okay, so I can. Li oh, I can walk around. Hell yeah! So I can. I can't go up that way. Can I go down to see what I've actually? Oh, I can actually see what we made. Oh, we've made a toilet. Yes, yes. Time to go in the women's toilet. Time to clog up the said toilet with one of my doozy doozies. And we've got ourselves an office. Oh, this is. Oh, this is brilliant. It's like a tycoon. It's brilliant. Before we get started in the office, I have some advice. Uh, oh, you do. Keep your advice to your hell, bonehead. What? Um, what's up, buddy? Oh. We should hire a night guard. Someone to watch the place at night. Why? Studies have shown that having a night guard working your Freddy's locations reduces the rate of employee danger and the rate of employer liability. Hiring a night guard is worth our while, I think. Fine, let's hire one. Wise choice. Uh, all right, I'll list your options. You have Sarah Buchanan. She has three years of experience as a night guard at a local coffee place. Pretty decent worker. You also have Bert v Weintraub. He got arrested in 1993 for trying to assault Freddy Fazbear. Might sound promising. You also have Derek White. Claims to like animatronics. Uh, Stranger danger. That's all we have on him. So, uh, I'm going to go with Bert. Bert sounds like he's not going to take any crap. And if any animatronics come at him in the middle of the night, he's just going to sock him one. 
Bert. All right. Consider him hired immediately, if not sooner. Hmm. Perfect. Excellent. So is that all I need to do in here? What do you need, Rasbowski? Um, nothing for now. Show me the restaurant layout. How's the restaurant looking right now? Can we upgrade the office? Minus five hundy. Let's talk about my employees. Sure thing, boss. Uh, Actually, cancel that. Uh, I'd like to replace Bert. I'd like to fire Bert. Let's hire a suited mascot wearer. Let's do this. Good idea. That ought to increase customer happiness. All right. I'll list your options. You have Stanley Johnson. Worked at Disney World before being fired for mating with a discarded goofy mascot costume. Stanley Johnson. Put you... Put your little Johnson away, buddy. Nobody wants that. You also have Max Hansen. This criminal record is extensive, but thankfully murdering children is something he's never done before. There's a first for everything. You also have Walt Grouse. He's actually a veteran Freddy's worker. He got arrested in 1985 for lewd conduct with a customer. Worked at some kind of Foxy-themed strip club. So, well, we already know who we're going to hire, Walt. Welcome to the family. All right. Consider him happy. Hired immediately, if not sooner. Okay, perfect. Perfect. There we go. So let's cancel that. We've got a really good team, spicy team, some may say, already coming together. Okay, can we do anything in the toilet? No! Can we hire a janitor? I would like to hire a janitor. What do you need, Rasbowski? I would like to hire a janitor, if that's possible. Um, can we buy a vending machine for this hallway? Um, let's talk about our bathroom situation. Well, right now, we have uh, separate bathrooms for boys and girls. If you want, we can convert the boys' bathroom into a unisex restroom and convert the girls' bathroom into a disabled restroom. Unisex bathrooms are all the rage these days. It'll totally boost customer satisfaction. Sit in, make our restroom seem more progressive and hip with the times. Also, we'd be the first Freddy's location to actually facilitate disabled people, but uh, having almost all of our customer base in one toilet will cause crowding, which will lower customer safety. Worth the risk, let's unify the bathrooms. Let's do it all righty. I'll switch the stickers on the bathrooms before we open. Oh, excellent. That is perfect, buddy. Let's let's sort this place out. We got 750 in the cash. What do we need? What else have we got? Anything else we can do? Let's talk wall decorations. Mm, we have enough room in this hallway for two decorations. Okay, I'll, let's talk about the decorations on the left then. What do you have your eye on? We need a Foxy poster up. That's what we do. Fredbear poster, uh, old, oh, old Foxy poster up. Let's do that. What, have we got anything else in here extra spicy? Oh, Funtime Foxy poster. Oh, people will love that. Stage light. Let's do Funtime Foxy. I can barely remember why Funtime Foxy is white and pink. My programming just says, this Foxy is the queen. It lays the eggs. What? Okay, I'm choosing not to think about that. Oh. There we are. It's, it's magnifique. It is beautiful. I love that. Have we got any extra options in here? I would like some decorations in here as well, buddy. What have we got? Um, we need tables. We need tables. We do need tables. Um, tables are set us back 250. Sure, let's do some tables. Perfect. Excellent. I can do. Perfect. This is what I'm talking about, baby. What do you need, Rasbowski? Um, what a wall decoration. Let's talk stages. Actually, we do need a stage. Restaurant's mascot. Let's talk about a restaurant's mascot. Probably needs to be Foxy. Sure, okay. Our current mascot is Foxy. Actually, never mind. Can we, um... Uh, I want Foxy's head to gaze upon potential customers. That's 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 what we're doing, do we? Uh, they did say... That the mascot needs to be Freddy, didn't he? He said something to do with... Or we could... Funtimes Foxy would, need, would bring in... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, sure, we'll go for that one. One fox head coming up! We're gonna make it Funtime Foxy related. That's what our current mascot is, Foxy. It's actually Funtime Foxy, buddy. Thank you very much. We've got 275 to spend still. We could do with a stage. Have we got a stage? Let's talk stages. At the moment, we have no stage in the room. The deepest stage is going for $100. Sure, let's do it. Screw it, the employees can perform in the bathroom. Let's not do that. Thank you very much. It's gonna be crowded as it is. Good investment. Excellent. Give me the stick. Uh, there we go. 
Now we need some animatronics on this stage. Can we do that? What do you need? Can we somehow... Um, let's not renovate. Let's not rest. We've done that already. Can I see the robot catalog? Here we go. As you can see, normal robots aren't really sold these days. If you want to buy a performer, we'll have to go for something unconventional. Uh, can we buy a doggo? Oh, Candy Cadet. Oh, can we buy... G go Red, do not buy. Let's buy a doggo. I never have imagined that I'd be ordering doggos today at work. Okay. Oh, there we go. He's so heckin' cute. Well, um, there's your doggo. <laughs> Don't you eat the point. Where are you going? Where are you go What are you doing under there? Where are you looking? Look at him there. Eat my pizza. Oh, he's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. Mwah! A masterpiece. Alrighty then, let's open this bad boy up. We spent all of our money. I've literally got zero. So hopefully I will get something good. Okay, what are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? One month later. Okay, here we are. I think we're going back to David now, right? Okay, here a car driving. Oh, is this me coming back home? It probably is. Probably me coming back home after all this. Freddy's House of Pleasure with Foxy on the top. Hell yeah. Well, here we are. We're back at your very own Freddy Fazbender's Pizza Joint. It's the last day of the month, so you better check up on how phony's getting on. Oh, yeah. I'm going to check up. I'm going to check up. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be good. What music would you like to play in your restaurant? Default pick from list. Surprise me. Pick from list. What have we got here? Bakersfield. Smooth-ish jazz. Freddy's March. Tordy Adore. Um, Smash Mouth All-Star. Never going to give you up. Okay, yes. That's what we're doing. Not even looking at the rest. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's what we're... Oh, Chica says Squawk. And we've got Gremlin. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? You're looking smooth as hell. <laughs> Hey, boss! Welcome back to the new and exclusive Freddy Fazbender's Pizza! It's exclusive because the others are all on fire, have gone moldy, or have been converted into Walmart. <laughs> oh, please! This place is about as exclusive as your average STD. Woohoohoo! Cold! Hey, I'll have you know I've done a good job in keeping this place STD free. Okay. Good man. Giant, mysterious scuttler free, on the other hand. I don't know what it is about Freddy's locations that attracts those things, to be frank. Perhaps it's the dampness and our unique array of molds and fun guy. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll just give you a quick rundown of exactly how the place is doing. That's what I wanted to see, buddy. Long story short, we're broke. Yeah, we're out of money. What have you been doing? What, what we're broke? We we, 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 we broke even. I've done far better than I expected we'd do. <laughs> Sir, with all due respect, this place isn't making a profit, and your poor design choices are the reason why. Why? What have I? I made this place top notch. I'll have you know. What have I done wrong? My poor design choices. Yes, sir! Your design choices! <clears throat> this place has no actual functioning robot. I mean, you brought back that hideous Spring Freddy suit, but it reeks! And since you haven't hired anyone to wear a bear suit, I've had to wear this suit at birthday parties. I bet you look fantastic, though, buddy. Do you realize how hard it is to fit a phone head inside of a mascot costume? <laughs> I know what a springlock failure feels like, Raspowski. No more. Oh, springlock, springlocks, who cares? We are out of money. I'll try to scrape some dough together so we won't lose the restaurant. Oh, we gotta be careful. Do you think you can help out today? Maybe lend a hand since you're here? Uh, sure, I guess I could help out for old times' sake. Mm, great, 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 great. That's, um, actually quite reassuring. I'll go rev up the ovens. Oh, you, um, you do whatever you want to do. Ah, uh, time for bear! <laughs> I'm too stressed and too tired to even figure out what time for bear could possibly mean. You do you! Razbowski, catch you later, sir. Wow, okay. <laughs> Brilliant! I'm doing absolutely fantastic. My place is breaking even. <laughs> and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> I 
love that it says Gremlin TM on the wall. I can't wait to be able to kick BB, by the way. That is, like, literally the highlight of this series. If I'm not allowed to kick BB straight, it's still horrible balloon child face. Then I'm going to be disappointed and uninstall this game immediately. Immediately. Wink at the doggo. Hey, yeah, doggo. I'm... Oh. Oh, he winked back at me. I think I've scored. I'm in there, boys. Is that is that is that it? Do, can, can, can you do any tricks, buddy? Are you useful in any way, shape, or form? Are you even a male or female? Can I ask that? I don't know. It's a dog. It's 2018, though, and people do get triggered. Wow! That, I wish I could search dining areas all the time. That's a buku amount of stacks. Your boy's got the paper. Your boy's got the sauce. Bring in the girls, because I'm going to get them more. We're going to move on. Um, Summon Walt? <gasps> yes! Walt is somebody who... Diddled the fox, was it not? Oh, suck, boss. Um, hey, Walt, how, how are you doing? Better give you a high five. Don't want to leave you hanging there, buddy. Um, you look kind of aggressive you there. Need something. Yeah, I actually would love to. Hey, employee, I was wondering if we could have a chat. You're doing swell, employee. Here's a bonus. I'm not going to fire him. I want to have a little chat with sure you, Walt. Thing, boss. Don't need to keep calling me boss kind of a little bit weird and a little bit too formal. Uh, tell me about your last job. Last job? Yeah, well. Unloading frozen meat from the back of a truck. Okay. Before that. Yeah? Well, back in the 80s, I worked at a strip club. Oh, oh okay. Um, <laughs> you definitely did all the boxes. It was a Freddy's brand one. E Actually. Okay, Walt, tell, tell me about that job, please. I dressed up like a fox-themed stripper. Oh. Okay. Don't ask. I wasn't going to, trust me. I, I don't need any more nightmares. I, I can't sleep at night. Um, anyway, I'd like to formally apologize, Walt, for any of the, the, the gropings that you might have. Um, Wait a second. No, don't recognize me. Why do you look so familiar? I did a lingerie ad. Uh, topic change, employee! All right, then. Oh dear, I may. Well, well, um, well, uh, uh, well, um, you're doing a great, you're doing a great, um, uh, you're doing a great bye job. Bye, job there, Walt. We're gonna have to summon Walt and we're gonna have to give him a, uh, a pay rise. Oh, go, 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 wait, wait. You're doing a great job. Come on, no, no. Yo, go, go through all the formalities. We're gonna have to. You're doing a swell, employee. Here's a bonus. We gotta give him the hush $3. monies. Finally. Yeah, hey, look how happy he looks. I can buy a can of bug spray. <laughs> My motel room could sure use it. Okay, you got scuttlers in there? Granted, I'm not sure if conventional bug spray will work on cat-sized cockroaches. Oh, yeah, probably oh, not. Well. Oh, well. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Boss, Here's... And see you later. <laughs> see you later. You're doing great. You're doing fantastic there, buddy. I knew I shouldn't have touched the facts. How do you, Walt, feel about spring locks? Thank the Lord that the Foxy-themed strip club mm. never had these. Yep, yeah, thank, thank the Lord himself. Imagine a customer grinding up against oh, no, you oh, and setting one no, of those No, 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 off? no, no, we don't, we don't, we don't talk about the Foxy. Uh, God. Imagine getting... No, hardened. no, 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 you stop right there. Don't worry, I have what? What? Spring walks through the area. <laughs> Same, buddy. Same. I might have to fire this guy just so I don't have to see him every single day. We got some safe room tapes or something in here. Record... I, I get to record training tapes? Hell yeah, huh? I don't see any training tapes here. Just this one cassette that reads... Dave, poor excuse seven? Let's give it a listen! Hell yeah, Dave, what poor excuse have you got this time? About the springboard training tapes? Yeah? I saw it. Misplace them. Brilliant. Employee of the year, once again, David. Give to a large fire. <laughs> Worry not, though. Okay. I want trouble from here. What? You can always record your own. How's that gonna help me if I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm sure you know what you're doing. I don't! If you don't, and a few employees get broken. Who cares? Just by some employees. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Walt has already been through enough with me without me. Actually, that's one way to get rid of my Walt problem. Ciao. Thanks for that, David. I might have to get rid of Walt. 
Okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to record a spring lock training tape or two. Okay, yeah. Do I at least get the option? All right, here goes. Yes, give me the options to make my own tape, baby. Hi, welcome to Freddy's House of Pleasure. Oh, jeez. Uh, these are, uh... Training tapes that, like, uh... Help you not die in a bear suit? Yeah, that sounds about right, God. I'm... Beast right now! Wow, okay. Focus! Rasbowski! Gotta get the focus. Okay, without further ado, safety instructions! Springlock suits are suits that, um... Double as both animatronics and suits are completely 100% fireproof, are guaranteed to kill at least one customer per day! Double as both animatronics and suits! Try and go for a sensible route here. To put a spring lock suit on, the first step is to... Um... Oh, what was it? Insert a hand crank firmly into the back of the suit. Rip the head clean off. No mercy. Kick the suit until it makes a clinking noise. Uh, insert a hand crank firmly and put it in the back of the suit. Probably a good way. Then you... Um... Safely enter the suit, taking care not to nudge the animatronic parts. Kick the suit three more times and then carelessly put the suit on. Violently unbirth yourself into the suit's warm, womb-like interior. Ah! I am so tempted to do that. But I did just say I was going to play this sensibly, so I'm going to enter the... Safely enter the suit. Right, very important. Very, very important. Don't get the suit wet. That's bad for the spring locks and junk. And if I learned anything from Gremlins, getting things wet is a bad idea. Get the suit as wet as possible. Customers love that. Feel free to urinate while wearing the suit. That's fine. Don't get the suit wet. That's bad for spring locks and junk. Okay? Also, don't flirt with animatronics. Not in my Christian establishment. Flirt shamelessly with the robots. Get physical if you have to. Go up the chicken. At least you're not calling it a duck anymore. Don't flirt with the animatronics. Not in my Christian establishment. Come on. Right, one last thing. The most important thing. Pay attention here, bucko, because you're going to need to do it. Never do a flip wearing the spring lock suit. Never. A metal endoscale and will reform where your lungs should be. That'll catch your suit on fire, I think. Toy Freddy might assault you or, like, you'll go to jail forever. It's probably the top option, right? Okay, that's it. Congratulations, try not to, like, die on the job, okay? I kind of need you alive, I don't want sued. That was actually a decent training tape, stuttering and mumbling aside. That ought to really boost this employee safety rate. Hell yeah, hurrah! Okay, we actually were good, good boys there. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, turn notification bells on, because I deserve it. Oh, the hallway, okay. Oh, hello. Hey, sir! Uh, can I have a quick word with you about uh, something? Uh, sure, sure. What's up, employee? What's up, my boy? Uh, we got a problem. You know how you chose to merge the gendered restrooms and convert the former women's restroom to a disabled restroom? Yeah, well, customers have reported... Bizarre noises coming from that restroom. Frankly, I have absolutely no clue what could be up with that room. Ghosts and ghouls, a trap customer, an infestation. Either way, I'm, I'm not going in there. And you expect me to don't be a coward, employee. I did not raise you, phone boy, to be a phone mouse. Get in there. I can't help it. It's in my programming. Don't die on the toilet is explicitly programmed into every I AI on Earth. Oh, of course, everybody's heard about the Elvis Presley program and scares at the routines nowadays, haven't they? Come on, sir. Just give the disabled restroom up peak when you have the time. I, I'm not doing that. Sure, sure. Why not? I'm a big brave boy. I want to see what's going on inside the... the uh, superb! Uh, report back to me here once you've surveyed the room. Okay, you're kind of making me a little bit... Um, I'm going to mop the floor. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mop the floor first. Make sure that the place is spick and span. Well, that's the floor thoroughly mopped. What a thrilling hour. Minus one to complete liability rating. Hell yeah. That is great. Enter the uh, enter the disabled restroom. Let's go in there. All right. Time to see what could possibly be in here. What kind of spooks and specters and ghouls and beasties and infest... Oh, uh, what? What? Why are there stalks in here? Oh. Oh, God. Are those... Are those pelicans? With storks, and lots of them. I'm not equipped to deal with the storks, and lots of them. 
Why are they in here? Are they using the urinal? Have I just barged in on some secret society of storks and they're meeting? I don't know if you've heard, but storks are birds! Well, they seem to be docile enough. Hey, bird brains, get out of here! Shoo silently. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna shoot them. I'm gonna shoot them. I'm gonna shoot them. I, I, I'm gonna shoot them, okay? Oh, no! I, th I think they've come. Oh, no, 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 you provoked them! Run! Hey, tactical retreat, tactical retreat, tactical retreat! I've provoked the birds, oh no! Have we got any stale bread? <coughs> Sir, you've returned from the disabled restroom, so see anything unusual in there? Uh, there's no way that I'm talking about what's in there. Uh, sorry, I, 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 I'm concerned! Look, buddy, I'm not talking about it. It's giving me nightmares already. What was in there? That's so bad that you can't even... Sir! Don't worry about what's in there. I'll handle it because what's in there certainly isn't worrying about you. Well, all right then. Thanks for surveying the room for me. Here's uh, $25 for not delegating the job to me. Okay. Uh, $25 won't cover the therapy. I'll need you, son of a gun. Do I look like I have more than $25 to my name? Hi, sir, and thanks. Uh, see you on the flip side. Are you gonna be... Are you gonna be in that mysterious place where Dave was? Okay, I'm gonna enter the unisex restroom. Is Jimbo... Uh, please tell me Jimbo's in here. I really want Jimbo to be in here. Oh, this is a really clean toilet. Wow, I'm not gonna do that in the stall, thank you very much. Your swear words, swear words in the urinal. Floppy mango! Rigid banana! Well, pour me a flipsy and shove a bottle down my bum! What? Uh-oh. Uh, Sir? Uh, uh, <laughs> With all due respect. What are you doing? Um, I'm yelling swear words at the urinal employee. Yeah, can you, you know, not do that? I don't think it's appropriate around younger kittens, you know. You talked about rigid bananas. What are you going to do, fire me, employee? Well, you know, I can't do that, sir. You have forgotten your place, employee. Who's the boss? Get back to work. Ah, uh, sure thing, boss, sir. I'll just get right back to it. I, what? I, I know you sassed me. I know you sassed me in that little... I know you sassed me. I'm going to pee in fury. This is going to be one of those furious, angry peas. Listen to the fountain coming from me. That's how angry I am. Now, this is a fancy high-tech thing. Boot up office PC. Hell yes. Oh, this is a good piece. Didn't need that. Didn't need that meme. Thank you very much. Okay, the entire computer is at your disposal. What shall you do now? Oh, I can think of a good couple of things. Check the restaurant reviews for a start. Let's check our restaurant reviews. We can print out the good ones and hang them on the walls. Hell yeah. We have three customer reviews right here. Mmm, Pappy's looking forward to this. I've, I've worked very hard on making this establishment dope as hell. Let's see here. Don't enter. Strong start. Okay, I visited Freddy's house of pleasure with my three-year-old child today. No, 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 you didn't. The place stank of your hand. <laughs> Probably because I pee constantly for 15 minutes. While there, what appeared to be about nine giant cockroaches or beetles attempted to drag my child into a crack between the wall and floor. When my child wouldn't fit through the crack, they tried to lay eggs on my son. It took three adults, one of whom had a rotary phone for a head, I might add, to pry the creatures off my son. I'd give the place a four out of ten, honestly. That I will take that. It was probably boosted from a two to a four because the child had a great time. Not everybody gets to ride on the back of cockroaches. Ah, damn it. That didn't sound like such a groovy review. We got one more. Pretty typical review, in my opinion. Hang it up, hun. Yeah, groove it, Bennett. Good call. Let's see what the last one is. Okay, next review. What have we got this time? No robots? Wow, okay. I visited Fraser's House of Pleasure with my eight-year-old girl today, slightly better than three. Despite having a big fox head above the joint's doors, the place had no robots in it. The only performer was a man with a rotary phone for a head. My child joined in with the other children and kicked him near death. Oh, my gentle Jesus. My child came home knowing six new swear words that night. Well, I educated the child, or at least my establishment educated the child. Okay. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. That review wasn't all that positive, was it? Nope, we've been in that one. Oh, crap. That one knew my name. Okay, yeah. I might with a little over a week or two. What's the final review? Last one. This one's going to be spicy. I already know it. Dangerous staff! I like it. Danger is my middle name, so it's, 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 it's a good title. Ooh! Boy! Okay, like, seriously, so, I visited with my seven-year-old girl, and almost immediately, I got the smell that I can only define as a unique combination of rotting flesh and bleach! Uh, wait, how would that customer recognize that exact smell? Very true, hmm, yes, very suspicious. Maybe you worked for Freddy's, that smells pretty common here. <laughs> then, what do you know? This phone-headed apparel? Appears I went nowhere. Somehow, he had what I could only presume was some kind of PTSD war flashback. He then grabbed a nearby broom as if it were a machine gun, and mistakes my child for a Viet Cong soldier, and starts screaming 70s era racial slurs at her. Completely ruined the vibe of our date. What? Who? Whose date? What? Are you dating a child? Okay, that last line is really concerning. Yes. Yes, it was very concerning. Like, I think we should maybe call the police. I am a policeman. Uh, nonsense. This is the best review we've gotten yet. Yeah, hang it up. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, dear. A swine. What am I, what am I supposed to do with this swine? Um, be gone, swine. Uh, y lest ye becometh pepperoni. Oh. Oh, 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 buddy, oh, buddy, I, I, oh, I, di I didn't, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings like that. Okay, that happened. I just hurt the pig's feelings, hoogie! <laughs> 6 p.m., that's the end of the day. We have survived yet again another day, and it's time to go and see David again in the afterlife world thing, I think. Oh, here we go. Here's my boss. How are you doing, buddy? Well, 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 6 p.m., so, uh, let's have it. What do you mean, unzip his pants? <laughs> okay, no, uh, put that away. Oh, okay. Sorry, I misread the situation here. I meant how much dough have you made from your customers today, sir? You did stick around today to help raise money for the restaurant. Yeah, I raided the bins outside. So, how much have you made? I made uh, 561 whole dollars. You made 561? Good lord! Why am I surprised? You're clearly a pro at this! Oh, flatter me more, sir. I am a professional money scrounger employee. And that's all you need to be to succeed. Bottom feeders always win. That's programmed into the AI of every phone guy. That rhymed, buddy. Combined with your 561, we now have 811. <clears throat> okay, here, sir. Here's what we made today, minus company deductions. Okay, one last thing. Though, <clears throat> do you think we could uh, meet in the safe room? Maybe you do want me to unzip, buddy. Something... Something happened today. Uh-oh, employee, I don't have time for this. What, what, what's up, buddy? I'll see when we get there. Is it to do with Walt? Is Walt been spilling my secrets, Walt? I will have to silence you, Walt. Walt was, um, caught in failure today, unfortunately. Walt! No, Walt! I, I, I jokingly... I literally jokingly said that Walt needed to disappear so that my secrets would never be revealed. I didn't actually want Walt to go bye-bye. I just made send him off to early retirement. Take him to Florida. That's where old people go. But no, the worst has happened. Rest in peace, dear sweet Walt. You will never be forgotten. Because you haunt my dreams. Is, is, is he? <coughs> Sir, um, losing an employee is always an unfortunate situation, but uh, Freddy's hasn't lost employees before, and we know how to deal with icky situations like this. Walt was just a voice in a suit. We can replace him. We can operate without him. Don't you speak about Walt like that. Walt was my dearest employee, and that goes for you, phone boy. Walt was a beautiful man. Walt had stories to tell. Walt just enjoyed being alive. And he can't even enjoy that anymore because he is. Walt is no more. So have respect. Great. 
And now we have a corpse in our restaurant. Uh, Again, uh, not uh, that uncommon Freddy's experience. Uh, uh, not to worry, uh, sir. Uh, <laughs> Again, the company has protocols for situations like this. Uh, uh, There's a factory out there, Afton Robotics, I think the place is called. Uh, we can send uh, 10 employees uh, to that place and they'll send a new intact employee free of charge. Uh, uh, Don't you want to make the best of a bad situation? Oh, I've been in this situation before, sir. I had to make the same decision myself. This is what's best for everyone. Okay, send him off. That sounds vile. I refuse to condone this. I don't, I don't, I, I literally don't know what to do here. Okay, send him off. I think we've got to send him off. Understood. I'll take care of this whole process, boss. You did the right thing. Policy is policy, you know. Okay, you can go home now if you'd like. Okay, all right, employee. I'll see you in a month's time. Oh, uh, good, good, goodbye, employee. I'm, I'm sure we did the right thing tonight. I'm sure we did, sir. See you on the flip side, boss. He said on the flip side again. Oh no, I think I've done the wrong thing. I really think I've done the wrong thing there. But it was an all right first day. You helped your employee work the day shift and earned a considerable amount of money for your efforts. Today brought you right back to your glory days. To those late afternoons bent over in a sweaty bear suit. To your time with Dave. Putting nostalgia aside, today wasn't as large of a failure as that could have been. You also helped phone guy deal with a dead employee after work. You sent your dead employee to Afton Robotics as per his recommendation. Phone guy leaves the restaurant and you decide that it's time to lock up. You leave through the window and say goodnight to Freddy's. Tomorrow is another day. Why did I leave through the window? Is that something that I should be doing often? Although that's how I entered the other establishments as well, wasn't it? Through the window. Where are we going now? Home? There I am. Off to... Am I going to Utah? Am I going to try and find another animatronic? <gasps> oh, yes. Okay, yes. We're going to Utah, baby. Colorado. Am I going to find myself another animatronic? Okay, okay. Oh, dear. Oh, it's... It's dark. It's mysterious. It is eerie and beautiful. Finally. You've returned. There's no company tapes left to guide you through your remaining duties and responsibilities. You're completely alone here. Huh? Oh, it's so sad and heartbreaking. At least... You hope you are. <laughs> uh, it's time to get searching. Searching, baby. Those robots aren't going to salvage themselves. What are we going to find in here? Hell yeah, baby. What would you like to do? Search to the north, search to the south, search to the west, search to the east. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to go north. I'm going to north first, and we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. What can we find up here? Okay. Oh, there's something there. There's something there. I see, I see it. What would you like to do? Oh, inspect the stage area. The stage area has been sorely tainted by time. A thick layer of grime covers anything that was once bright and pristine. Several pieces of Bonnie are scattered on the stage. Finally, an incarnation of Bonnie the Bunny with a face and yet no torso. Tragic. Freddy seems to be relatively intact, missing limbs aside. Salvage Freddy, leave him be. So we got Freddy. That we can look at. Okay, what's in here? What would you like to do? Leave through the door on the left. Search the security office. Why are there two doors? I suppose it all links together, doesn't it? You find a familiar security panel now permanently deactivated from years of neglect and an array of posters of drawings, some of which you clearly recognize as being from locations you've previously worked at before. Aside from its rust and relative age, the office is 100% intact. Everything is exactly where you left it last back when you worked the graveyard shift here. Evidently, this building closed down a lot long after you left. What would you like to do? Search through the the right door? This is just taking me around about a long way. I like this. This is getting very creepy. Okay, what's that? Is that Bonnie? What would you like to do? That looks like a faceless Bonnie. Inspect- Oh, inspect Foxy the Pirate! <gasps> Oh, Foxy the Pirate seems to be broken down for once. You'd swear that he was relatively untouched by time if it wasn't for the fact that he's clearly missing a leg. Salvage him or leave him be. So we got Freddy and we got Foxy are two that we can do. Enter the restroom. Okay. 
Okay, this sounds like it's probably gonna be a bad idea. <laughs> Not sure. Oh, this Chica. Okay. What would you like to do? Re-enter the restroom or inspect Chica? Let's inspect Chica. Good lord, how repulsive! You couldn't possibly want this moldy ass chicken inside your restaurant. <laughs> Salvage the moldy bird waifu or leave her be. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna cliffhang this episode right off here, and I want you to vote in the comment section below. Actually, no, it'll probably be a poll um, on, the, on the channel, so make sure you click the cards or whatever it is. There's going to be a poll on the screen at some point during this video. Who should we salvage of the four original animatronics? Foxy, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica. Let me know down in the comment section below as well. I'll, I'll, I'll just go ahead and I'll tally everything together. So let me know down in the comment section. Let me know in the poll. And in the next video, which could be tomorrow if we hit 3,000 beautiful likes tonight, um, which animatronic we should take. And I'll get out of here real soon because this is going to be a very very long video with this. Thank you all so much for your continued support. I've been Raspowski, you've been the beautiful Raspberries, as always, for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye! Why, hello there, old sport.